All right, we just found this guy on the shore. Not sure what's wrong, but he's not doing so good. Raptor was just floating in the water, wasn't moving. Beautiful bird, though. Yeah, we're gonna take him back. Riding solo today, so it's just me and him. All right, dude. Ooh, he was more calm than my house cat. We're gonna rock it back. I think he just kind of given up. Not doing so well. He's gonna fall off though. He's chilling, running the safety mode. You know, these are wild animals. They uh, don't like to be around humans. Never been this up close to personal with eagles. So I was like, oh, he's definitely really sick. Trust me, he couldn't fly. The eagle whisperer oh my strikes goodness. again. Oh my gosh. His head was starting to droop a little bit. Feels like it's like not even gonna make it to the treatment facility. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. Ready to go? We should go. Get him to the professionals. We're on the way to the Raptor Center. Keep left onto truck two. He's asleep. Keep my hand on his chest. He's still got a strong heartbeat. He's been nervous for a second actually, but. He's just taking a nap. Yeah, before I got there, I think he was in the water for a long time. I was just shocked how calm he is. Yeah, he was um, breathing funny. Yeah. He wasn't breathing yeah. well. They checked him all over. He was exhausted and he was dehydrated. And once they get to that level, basically just can't hunt for food anymore. He stayed with them through the winter, given the best rate of survival. All right guys, last summer we picked Rafter up out of the water and she's been in rehab ever since and we're about to let her go, so it's pretty cool. We attempted to release her two weeks ago. It was a pretty windy day and she was shy about going. So there's a chance that she won't go today. We opened up the cage, popped his head out, had a quick look around and he was super happy to get back on the river and that's where we want to see him. There she goes. 